Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to render sequences with the Indigo plugin for iClone 6. Uh, previously we've only done single frame stuff, but here we're going to learn how to do uh, more than one frame. So the uh, scene I'm going to render is the one we have right here currently. Um, I've loaded up this skirt and hair project um, in our content uh, manager here under G6 Actors. And I've just changed the character to one provided by uh, our developer Seligon. And I've also just uh, changed the floor to a nice pink color. So let's go ahead and uh, play back and see what we're going to be rendering here. You can see it's just a nice uh, sequence, about uh, 340 uh, frames there. And what I'm going to do first is just go over to Indigo. Uh, we don't use the uh, iClone export when we're exporting to Indigo, so we'll just go over to the Indigo tab. And all you need to really pay attention to, uh, you don't got to worry about all this stuff unless you want to, uh, go down to the very bottom under Reddit Render Settings. And uh, we have a current frame. You can render the current frame. And if you just go ahead and do that, you can save it. Uh, you can export the scene as. And let's export this to our desktop. And we'll export this as an Indigo scene file to, uh, you know, uh, still, we'll call it still frame. And we'll just save that to our desktop. And then if I go down to my desktop here, you can see we have that still frame uh, images, the still frame meshes. And you can see all of the images we have right here. Uh, and the uh, the meshes that we uh, the mesh data and are still frame. So we don't really need that right now. Uh, just remember these are uh, IGS files, which stands for Indigo uh, Scene Files. You can see if I mouse over here, IGS. There we go. I'm just going to delete these for now, and we're going to go back to iClone. And in iClone, I mean I'm going to select a range instead of the current frame. So the range here, I'm going to go from uh, the whole scene one to 340. Now the frame rate really depends on you. Because I'm just going to be rendering this on a simple little laptop, I'm just going to keep a frame rate of 5. So it's not going to be entirely smooth when we complete. But keep in mind that uh, what Indigo is going to export is an image sequence. Uh, it's going to export a number of PNG images which you can combine together in a uh, video editing software such as Adobe Premiere. And you can uh, combine those together into a movie. Now the image completion, this is an important part, you can actually uh, decide how long Indigo spends rendering each frame. Because our project is very simple here, we have no background, we just have a single plane and this, uh, this one character uh, dancing around, we don't really need much uh, time to complete this. So sample per pixel means like uh, how many per pixel, how many samples this, the Indigo uh, renderer will take. And you can change that up to like a high value of 9,999. Normally we recommend keeping it around 600 for a simple scene like this. Or you can also decide, you know, how many seconds you want per image. Uh, normally I choose around uh, 60 or 70. That's normally sufficient for a very simple scene like this. Um, the laptop I'm running right here is uh, uh, Windows uh, 7 Intel Core i5 uh, with an NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M uh, video card, uh, 2 gigabytes and uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So it's not really, a, it's, it's pretty far from your top of the line computer. It's, it's uh, fairly average. So we'll just keep that uh, at um, 70 seconds. That should be fine per frame. And you can also choose your export frame size. I'm just going to keep this at your good old uh, NTSC dimensions here for now. Now we also have the option of uh, going down here and choosing our, uh, our tracing method. Normally path tracing is the uh, simplest uh, method to choose, so I recommend choosing that. Uh, unless you're really caring about uh, you know some specular values or, or uh, refraction through glass uh, materials and stuff like that. Uh, you can just choose path tracing for a very simple uh, scene like this. And you can also choose to save your IGI. When you save your IGI, that saves, um, the, it gives you the option to resume rendering from a certain uh, uh, certain scene. So if you save your scene file and you save an IGI, you can actually resume your progress uh, from the IGI. We won't get into that right now, but for now I'm just going to go to export. And I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call this uh, sequence on my desktop. I'll go ahead and uh, go into that folder, and we'll just call this uh, sequence dance. Now we have the option to uh, save it as an uh, indigo sequence file, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Save it. And this will actually just export, uh, iClone will export the data from each individual frame into indigo, uh, rather into indigo format. So what it's doing right now is it's saving an indigo uh, scene file for each frame. Uh, and there should be, I'm not sure how many frames, I think there should be about 30 or 40 frames. Uh, in here, but basically what it's doing is just uh, saving all the data from each individual frame that I'm about to render and it's uh, going to save that into that same directory which I'll show you in just a moment. Once our actress here completes her uh, B 
beautiful dance. So it's got a few frames left. And if we go back to our desktop, we will be able to see. Let's go there. We have our sequence folder right here. And in this, we have this uh, dance right here. This is an IGQ file. So this is a sequence file right here. Uh, within the sequence file, we have all of the, uh, you know, very familiar IGS files, which are the scene files and their respective directories, um, you know, which contain all of the images and uh, all of the meshes there as well, as you may recall. So uh, these are all the IGQ files, or rather the IGS files, uh, S for scene and then Q for sequence. So uh, down here we have the IGQ file. So if I double click this and load this up, this will begin rendering uh, my I IGS files one by one with the uh, parameters that I set before. So let's go up here to render settings and change from uh, render uh, imaging rather to render queue. And we can see all of our IGS files uh, being rendered here. Let's take a look at this one. So right now we can we have our uh, halt SPP uh, samples per pixel, per pixel rather set at negative one. Uh, it's actually chosen to choose the halt time. So the halt time is 70 seconds. So currently we're at 30 seconds. We're going 33, 34. So you can see already at uh, 37 seconds, we have a fairly good render. Uh, there's maybe a tiny little bit of uh, pixelation in the, uh, in the background there. But because our scene is very simple, it's not going to take that long at all, even for the uh, laptop that I have. And you can see the uh, progress right here. If you want, you can change the order of your uh, scenes by moving an item down or moving it up. Or you can add one or you can remove one as well. Uh, this is a fairly simple render. We'll be done at a minute and 10 seconds. So you can see we have this one uh, fairly nice, the nice shadows and a nice render uh, from Indigo. And then it'll start the next one. So you can see the next one is a, a couple of frames ahead. It's not going to be entirely smooth, but what this is creating, it's creating an image uh, sequence. So let's go right now to our Explorer folder and let's take a look at our sequence. So in our Dance folder now, we have the images and the meshes again. And then we have this uh, PNG file. Let's take a look at that. Let's change to... Uh, large icons right here and see if we can't uh, take a look at that file right here. So you can see it's rendered the very first frame. Let's go ahead and double click that and see what it looks like. There you go. So there's our very first frame. Uh, not bad. Um, it's not in, um, there's a 100% resolution right there. That's what we're expecting. So it's fairly good. I think um, it looks fairly clean. The character looks clean. The shadows are nice and everything. Uh, not the uh, ultimate render, but pretty good for 70 seconds on a laptop. So let's go back to, uh, let's close this down and go back to uh, Indigo. You can see we're now almost done. Uh, we have eight seconds left on our second frame. And then we can take a look at that one. And then I'm going to pause the, uh, pause the recording uh, for a moment just so we can render the rest of them. And I will come back. So let's go uh, now back to, uh, oops, I closed down the Explorer window there. Uh, go back to the Dance folder. And now we have Dance 1 and Dance 2. There's Dance 1 right there and dance too. So there's our first frame and our second frame. And momentarily we will have a third frame. But for now I'm just going to pause this, uh, pause the recording and I'm going to come back when the render is finished and I'll tell you more about it. Alright, so here we are. I uh, finished the render and you can see our, our progress. All the status have uh, been successful and our progress. We have almost as many sample per pixels as we do seconds. Uh, so we're fairly good right there. So let's go back to our uh, desktop again and enter into our sequence folder and into the dance. And let's take a look at the uh, finished sequence. So I'm just going to load up one and we can use the arrow keys to advance through the different frames. And there we go. So we have that nice, uh, you know, uh, 34 frame sequence right there. We can bring that into uh, something like uh, Premiere and just put, the, put that sequence together and have a nice little uh, render like that. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And again, just set 70 seconds per uh, per frame here. We got a nice, beautiful result just like this. You can even watch her do it in reverse. Oh, she's doing a reverse twi uh, twirl now. So um, yeah, like I said, 70 seconds uh, per frame there. Uh, nice, quick, simple render on the laptop. Uh, 34 frames in total. So that's about it for uh, this tutorial. That's how you render a sequence in uh, Indigo from iClone using the Indigo plugin. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys.